Welcome, everyone, to the Freestyle Cast, part four, I think, right? I am your host, Matrix Lord 2 and 2, and I'm with David Aston. What's up, David? I am David Aston. I've now become symbiotic with some eyebrows. What's up, Ryan? Hello, my people. What's up, Matt Rose? Hashtag Skynet is forever. What's up, Philip Archer? What's up? I'm doing the Brian now. There you go. This must be a party. Let's go. We've had a lot of people in here today. Very interesting. Um, okay, so we we are just this is the freestyle cast. It's relaxed. There's no articles to talk about. There's no we're just shooting the breeze. Um, talking about stuff over the years, talking about comments, talking about Doctor Who here and there. So um, I think once Doctor Who starts, then I think everything will stabilize. Uh, yeah. Because I think without Doctor Who on the air, people are getting a little mad and loony and attacking. And, the chaotic mess, yeah. And people are attacking people because they're bored. Right, I've got a question about Doctor Who actually because obviously they put out a little um, yes. magazine piece today, um, and they're saying that she she's she's back, and it doesn't really say whether whether it's the actual season twelve that's coming out or or a um, special. It, so, it, it, I mean, my stance has not changed. I I still feel that the special comes first, and then we'll get the series. I haven't, and that's another thing that was brought up by David Blythe. He's like, just because I didn't talk about it this week, which do you want me to repeat over and over and over again every week the same shit? So, um, yes, I still feel the special will be on New Year's Day. I still feel that series 12 will be in April 12th. Nothing has changed from what I feel. Now, I did say before Children in Need that the trailer was not going to be on there and pulled. That changed. I did say also that I heard that the trailer was being pulled from the 23rd. Now, today we also got a video. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, yeah, the rap, the rap one are you talking about. Yeah. Which they, it, uh, it's a little late that you're announcing that on October 31st, it was a rap, which... I called that too. No, I had to do that. No. <laughs> uh, you that. ego mania. The ego for a moment has gone up, Joe. Uh, Beware of your ego. Must you act hey. like a child and an imbecile? No. So I am <laughs> acting my age. I'm young. All right. So, uh, yeah. I heard we're not going to get the trailer. I heard that they're going to throw some interview thing. They'd be like, look at that. Ooh. It's like, and maybe they're going to delay it until December 6th, Graham Norton, which if you remember, I also said that Jody was going to be on. They're going to be Graham Norton appearance. I didn't have a date. Remember, Philip? So yeah. nothing has changed from what I said, other than if there was direct changes, I let you know ahead of time that these changes were taking place. So uh, I'm not going to get busy with the Twitter world because, again, I've seen comments about, I don't trust Matrix Lord. He's lying and stuff and all kinds of different names. I don't believe him because in 1886, you know, he did this and stuff. So, like, they're pulling, like, stuff from, like, years ago, seven years ago, I think, something I was wrong about <laughs> something. Instead of it being on the 23rd, it was on the 22nd. I don't know, whatever. Listen, I get things wrong too, but, uh, your, but all a, your all your critics are basically young to their uh, sort of early twenties Southern Americans. I don't know what the critics are because here's the thing, and again on the Twitter world, I you know Philip, it's that's a weird animal. Like I, I, I because you know what it is, these same people that I think you know why I think they're coming after me. I said this before. I I, I said because I'm engaging. Twitter lately, and I don't usually do that. I just post my video, right? So I think because I'm gauging, they're like, "Who's this guy? What does he do? Who's he? We don't know him. You can't play out a hooving sandbox." So like, <laughs> they get all offended, and these people that are they have they have their people they follow, which you could follow a million people, it's fine. But hmm. the problem is, like me coming out and talking about this, 
they don't know me from Adam, but I think they're going overboard because the people that they do follow that they say are right a million times have been wrong a million times this year. Um, and I'm not trying to stir the pot, but we've had people that were before me, we were pre-Matrix Lord 2, which were like David Aston time, where... You stirred the pot, make a nice bit of uh, Italian-American soup called This Is Whoop Ass Soup. Enjoy. There, there was, there was I someone... I mean, in the nicest way, by the way. I don't want to... Thank you. I don't want to give the person's name, but there was somebody reviews that had said a lot of different things this year that were totally wrong, but... He gets a pass. I don't know why. Right about things. It's like getting a trailer. Who gives a fuck? It, well, they, they do. Like when it comes to Doctor thing. Who, yeah, yeah. I think most people should. It's it's great to argue over it, or even just you know, excitedly debate what's going to happen. But no, but not with Doctor Who. Though. I've noticed. I think in Hollywood, there's still. This is my theory about a lot of things now. I think they're still using the same tricks they used to use in Hollywood. You know, when you had a a male actor who was supposed to be straight, but he was, you know, secretly gay, they pair him up with a nice, you know, female uh, actress who just had to be straight as well. The, my point is, it's a bit of clever subterfuge and they uh, they've done it before i think they're doing the same thing now with trailers they're they're disinformation all this mike zen zeno for whatever his name all this stuff all the dreadful horrible shit going on behind the scenes for episode nine of star wars which the great brian Raymond wants to see several times awesome and uh, <laughs> i think it's disinformation yeah uh, it's it's a great way to you know, they get the chance to prove all the um, what they would call in wrestling smart, you know, smart wrestling fans. Uh, they get the chance to disprove them, but also it's actually good for the fans. You know, that people don't have the fun ruined by knowing too much. I mean, there was a point when you would literally not need to bloody watch the sodding fig anymore because you knew everything about it. Right. So. It's it's great, but it's not important. You know, don't have a don't have a go at my man Joe, dude. <coughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I, think I don't. Who, I don't. I think it's a little bit immature. I mean, it's yeah. The Whoopi community is definitely a crazy community, right, Philip? I mean, yeah. And people really come down to try to destroy people when it comes to Doctor Who news. It's like not even. It's, it's tolerance. People, yeah. once upon a time, before Brian Rohn's day and Matthew Rose's day, me, Philip, and anybody of my age, which is, what, 20 years old or something, right. um, would remember that <laughs> there was a time when you didn't have diddly fucking squat. You would right. have a trailer. You would have not much, really. Yeah. Now you have so much. So... Yeah, like I said before, in the last cast, the internet is technically addictive. I yeah, hope and, uh, I'm not going on to... No, it's not. And, and, but, but the Ubi community is, is definitely... My point is, our tolerance has gone down for what entertains us. So that yeah. means that when you can get what you want, you're fixed, as it were. You get lefty. I think the Ubi community, though, is very... People take it a different way to where it's... Like, they think that there has to be a top person. And it's very competitive oh, and very like, like I'm the main person and I'm this and who are you and like my source is saying your source is look. It's like, like you can't just talk to people. It's like people are like ready. They're all in a race, and I don't understand why. And you know, then they they all have egos too. It is true. They all have egos, and they get offended for any little thing about. If your news conflicts with their news, like I know, Philip, that you want Jody gone. Oh well, no, it's not that. I just wish they chose. A, well, well, it is well, a thing. you want Jody gone, but then if I get news that she's definitely not gone, that might be a conflict with you and me because you don't want that. <laughs> well, no, you know what? At the end of the day, it wasn't the fact that I want her gone. I just didn't. I just didn't feel that she's the right. They chose the right woman to play. 
Well, but see, here's the thing. With other people, though, they misunderstand, like, me reporting what I, like, hear to where I'm attacking them. And I'm not attacking them. Like, again, it, it, I, I get overboard when people go crazy on me about, you know, I'll say, oh, Jody Staines is Series 13, and then they get vulgar. And then I go after them because I, that's like an opening to be like, now I'm going to shove this in your face. It's not that I have an ego and it's not that I just go attack people. And that, I think that's the misconception is that when I entered this Twitter world and engage in people and people hit me with harsh nonsense, I think that brought out a competitive nature towards those people. But people misconstrued it as towards everyone. I actually got a question for Philip, if that's okay with yes. you, Joe. Go on, then. As a black man, do you think do you think there's really any difference when you're from a different, you know, ethnicity? Race? Yeah, and and um, <laughs> Do you think there's a difference in how people say? will react to Joe when he says something they don't believe or dislike to say you as a black dude? I don't think that really, it doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't really come into it because all, the only difference between me and Joe is that I'm dark and he's light and he's a bit more handsome than I am. There's no difference. <laughs> so, um, he! Well, maybe not as handsome, but I'm, I've, got, I've got to give him a bit of ego. Uh, <laughs> We call it Jody or he? If if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, what's the word if you're going to treat somebody completely different because of the color of their skin is the stupidest thing. Exactly. Like, I mean, I mean, like, I don't, you know, what if you're blind and stuff? It's like you know, you just you're a friend. It doesn't matter. It's on the inside, not like it doesn't matter what you are. We're all equal. So like. I never got that with the, the racism and all that other nonsense. But anyway, no, I don't get it. Yeah, it's just, uh, all of a we talk to different. Every I've never understood why the KKK like some of the uh, people. <laughs> don't get it real. Now. We're getting um, to real like <laughs> why they hide them. They're so proud of the hateful uh, words. That's why they hide themselves under hoods. I I don't know. But I think I just, I just, uh, I'm the demonetization. To, it's like, <laughs> get you back, dude. No, no, it's I, like, I just, I yeah. just, that's why I asked Philip, really, because I was curious to see from his experience. Yeah. Well, I've never met any KKKs as, uh, so far, so I can't really say anything about that. Uh, well, my, then, that analogy was really about, you know, <laughs> you're so proud of your opinions, that's why. You're yeah. under a hood, or you're behind the. Blank. I'm just a, I'm just a mouthy git when I want to be. So that's that's basically me. I, as I a just hood. think that people on Twitter are like keyboard warriors. Like I yes. just think they they just, but they but they but see the thing is that they look to destroy. And then when they do, being that I've been, people have attempted to destroy me many times. I'm so like armor on that I go back at them. They're like ah ah. I'm not gonna take it anymore. I'm like, I did yeah. one sentence. <laughs> was like, yeah, where'd you go? Uh that's the that's the beauty of the uh, of the internet keyboards. You you can you can sit behind sit on your keyboard and say whatever you damn well want to someone and not get be fit be afraid of being punched in the face because that's right. why they do it because they can't get punched in the face for saying what they want. Listen, do I want the Doctor Who trailer to be on the twenty third? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I mean, does, I'm not an asshole for saying if that. Does, I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, but I'm not is. an asshole, though. But th that's the thing. Like, You're an asshole. So why? Because I'm saying I don't think it's going to be on. Does that mean I don't want... I want the trailer now. But, like, there's a difference between reporting <laughs> the news and, and your own opinion, you know? I don't like Chibnall. I want him gone, but he's not gone. <laughs> so there you go. He's not gone. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. It's like, you know, that's the whole point. It's like, I got to fucking deal with seeing this fucking guy every Doctor Who season. I'm not fucking crazy about it, but fucking deal with it. Just like, you know, I mean, there's other people out there that are like, fucking Jim Bill, fucking Jody, and then they go crazy with it and they're ready to slice somebody's throat. Like, chill your fucking self. Like, like, that's the whole point is that we don't get things our way all the time. 
But there goes the rating, by the way. I'd got yeah. to say it for once. No, but like we don't, things don't go our way. We have to report the news whether we agree with it or not. Oh, and yeah, they, they, they could say something like, oh, uh, you know, the, the doctor's going to be an animal now. We're going to use special effects. You know, it's going to be like a lion, like Lion King. That's what the doctor's going to be or some shit. Oh, we may not fucking like it. No, I mean, that's the thing. You don't fucking know. And it, it could be crazy as fucking shit. But we may not agree with it. But, you know, if we cover the news, we have to cover the news. You know? Yes, yeah, about the frog and the patine. So that's how people misconstrue me talking about the news to me wanting them. And I don't want Chimno there. But, again, he's there. So... It is you, rather odd, though, how people get upset over a trailer, and yet when it comes to a short trailer about people, you know, starving or being homeless, people won't get that angry. Yeah. Well, I never thought I would get so enraged to see the doctor talking to a frog until it takes you away. And that just, yeah. that just invoked a new type of emotion that was very, probably violent. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like that. The episode episode was going so well, and then, and then it went into the toilet. All right, so people just but then people get mad at me for saying I don't like an episode. So what? Oh wow, two failed screenings. Holy crap! Two up. Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker got two failed, failed. Test screenings. Oh, what, what does that mean? God. Explain that. Why? How do you get? How do you get failed test screenings? What does that mean? Okay, that means Philip it Archer. It very well. That means Philip Archer is sitting watching the movie. Gets up. Yeah. He's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh, shit. Like totally fucking angry. Like people fucking hate <gasps> what they saw. Are you kidding? Pure wow. fucking hatred. Oh. Where if you put a fucking oh, yes, weapon in their course. hands, they'd stand on the screen. There was a, a YouTube video title I saw earlier from Mecca42. Right. And um, it says, uh, essentially, the, the possibility that the Last Jedi... Well, the Rise of Skywalker. The, the, yeah, the current... The, the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, Rise of Star Skywalker. So, That's um, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I can't remember what the name of the thing right. is about to be. Yeah, Rise of Skywalker, quite simply, Rise. is going to be more div divisive right. than the Divis yeah. Jedi. Well, all I know is that the overall consensus oh, that Chris, Chris just sent to me, to the whole damn fucking audience fucking hated it. Two two failed what? test screenings. Right. Oh my god, that's bad. It, that, I, I've never oh, heard of it. That's, that's, I've never sim heard that's like, simple. Man. They all hated it. Sorry for interrupting. Well, they all hated you know, it because they they must be bigots because they all dislike. Well, no, but here's the thing. Again, the whole purpose of a test screening, they they take what they see and then they go back and they change the film. So now oh. that they had, so now that they had two. They went. They're going back and changing the film, and and it's still coming out in December. But there is panic mode right now because you're not going to release it if it. You're not going to release it the way it is if it failed at the test screen. That means people are going to hate the movie, and you're going to get the bomb in the box office. But that, that, there is no time to re restructure it. There is time to restructure because it's in their contract. They're around. They get. They have to do reshoots. So. Yes, he has to do some writing on the sly, and they have to add special effects, and they have to do shit because obviously it's not, it's, it's not going to be. It's not going to be able. It's not going to be out in time then. Oh, uh, it will. They'll. They'll. They won't sleep. It's. it's I. I gotta to, tell you, they should delay it. That's yeah, the they, they're gonna have to be um, some sort of meeting after what. But, they, but they've uh, advertised it too much, though. Now they they can't delay it. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's uh, that's for the everything show. You want an everything show? That's what we're gonna yeah, get tonight. Yeah, yeah. We're Chris. Yeah, we're getting it tonight. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We're Chris tonight. Could that be? Right. I want to hear, hear what Chris got to say about that. So we, I think we did. I think we did a good amount of cast covering the subject of comments and different things. Yes, you have. Please leave your comments below. 
Um, and I, I, if any members did want to take part in it, we will continue the discussion later on. I'm going to go now, probably going to have stuff to do. So uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Philip. Thank, thank you. you. Matt left, and I think David asked. All right, so thank you, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See you later.